Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching Hunter Hunter episode 76. So we start the Chimera Ant arc today. We just watched episode one of the 1999 version. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was really good. I thought it was really good. Uh, we met Kite, who's probably going to be one of the main characters of this arc. Mm -hmm. Kite um, was looking for Jing in episode one. That's right. So he's probably going to be the main supporting character. And presumably, he was the dude that we saw right at the end of episode 75. Mm. So, I do wonder what that meeting is going to look like. How they're going to write Kite into this version of Hunter Hunter. Because we had technically not met him before. So, we'll have to see how they give him context. If you guys are interested in signing up to our Patreon, you'll gain three to four weeks of early access to our current shows, and you'll also find reactions that are exclusive to our Patreon. If you're interested, you can check out our link in the description below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. No, no, no. I don't need to be remind. Again. I'd say this is cute, but I don't think it is. I think it's a little bit cute. Oh! <laughs> oh I forgot about that. No. Reunion. With Kite, mm -hmm. I'd imagine. Is the rod going anywhere? It's not Jing. It's not some old person either. Yeah, it ain't Jing. I saw some white hair. Yeah. But Kite had blo um, brown hair. Oh, they must have changed the color then, because he's got long hair yeah. here. Yeah. Huh? What? It seems very all of a sudden. His soccer's number. Oh. He's got a rifle. Goodness. What the bloody hell are we doing here? Oh. The Nen ants are going to come alive, aren't they? Does he know him in this in this version of Hunter Hunter? Did they even meet in episode one? And well, behind the scenes. Does this fight do anything? Well, if so, Killer was kind of screwed. Oh, dear. <laughs> I hate ants. <laughs> Yeah, he saved him before. What is he on about? Okay. He did meet him in this version. Cool. Yeah, okay. I don't know why they didn't include it, though. I know! Did he say fox bear? Mm. I thought it was a bear rat. <laughs> it doesn't even look that old. <laughs> He's just sitting by the nest? Yeah. Is that what he does? 
Yeah, I guess so. Maybe he... It's like he doesn't want to hurt the no, ants. No, no. But he wants to make sure they stay in their nest and don't hurt anyone else. Yeah. I think he, he doesn't like hurting creatures and whatnot, yeah. but if it's to save a human, I oh, guess he'll do dear. it. Oh, shit. Uh... They're hybrids. Well, that's what a chimera is, is yep. it not? Did the same thing for Razor. Hmm. So, yeah, Ching does some nice things. He just... So those ants, those chimeras probably didn't get the antibiotics and it, they turned into that. I'd, I'd imagine that's what took place. Right. Did you just say antibiotics? Yeah. Antibiotics. Well, that's what he said. I wasn't intending for it to be a pun, but, you know, I'll <laughs> roll with it for now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh. I see. The animals are his allies. He doesn't like yeah. hurting things the in nature. Can sense yeah. That he means no harm. Oh, I love that. It's a squad. <laughs> That's so wholesome. This is where Jing helps him. <laughs> the animals like Jing even more. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that ties in with that episode one. Yes. As well, yeah. Bugging is another ant pun. <laughs> I'm starting to think that Jing is actually made up. <laughs> A myth. <laughs> yep, that's right in character for Jing. Yep. Yeah. Someone had to discipline him. Oh dear. <laughs> Jingy's one of them. He's just one of them absolute dickheads. He set up one big dangerous game for his son. Yeah. For his 12-year-old son. <laughs> He's already got enough of his own personal issues to deal with. Yeah, see, Jing is a troll. I said he that. He is such a troll, man. He's a racist as well. Just when you th thought that Jing couldn't get any worse. Yeah. He goes and proves us wrong. Oh, shit. So his plan wasn't perfect. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, she just called him out. Let's go, <laughs> Elena, is that her name? Yeah, Jing is just very insecure too. Did we not get an answer there? 
Oh. Yeah, no. So much to say. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows anything about him. Ah, <laughs> oh, is it like sucking it? Ew! Gotta stink, man. Oh, it reminds me of something. What is it? An it's ant. A cell. <laughs> cell in its first form. Okay. Mm, okay. I would have thought it was a fugitive, but that's fine. Yeah, didn't he like um rebuild some ancient he, town? Yeah, or something? he found some shit. Yeah, some historical shit. A lot to learn from him. Oh, he's got Killua's respect. Yeah. Yeah, I got cell vibes. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is it speaking? Yeah. Oh no. How's it gonna heal? Just by eating. No way. Oh shit. <laughs> That's epic. <laughs> okay, so we have the queen. <laughs> the queen is about to give birth to the king, which doesn't really make... Uh, I guess it does. She dies, you know, he, he gains the throne. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work, <laughs> but I think that's a good call from you, saying that um you're getting cell vibes. Yeah. I started to get that after you said it as well. A lot of you guys say that Hunter Hunter was heavily influenced by Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z anyway, so... That's cool. The ant was disgusting. Yeah. I think that's that's great. I think it's good that ants are small because when they're magnified, oh. Yeah. Yeah, no good. It's going to be interesting. Um, mm. So it's already got like a bunch of nests. Well, maybe just the one. Yeah. And yeah, it does seem like Kite is sort of protecting it. But I don't know if Kite knows about the queen. Kite knows about the ants. Okay. So he's got the antibiotic, the antibiotic and all mm. of that as well. He'll reveal more about them as we go on. Jing's a dickhead. Yeah. Yeah, Jing's a dickhead. I no, Look, you can look at it two ways, okay? I think we've sussed out Jing with his limited screen time. Yeah. Jing is insecure about himself as a father, so can't face Gon. That was evidently clear to me after his discussion with Elena, whatever her name is, mm. okay? At the same time, he's making it as difficult as possible to try and test his son to see what his offspring is capable of. Yeah. Um, whether or not he's gonna he's got the potential to be as gifted as him when it comes to using Nen. Yeah. So much so that what he's actually done is because Gon chose a different card, he sent him to the lair of the ants. At least Kite was there. Yeah, he sent him to Kite. Yeah. There was no mention of the ants, but Do you think he let Kite find him? No. Because I was gonna say Maybe when Gon can actually find Jing, that means that Gon has surpassed him, like is better than him. But then that would mean the fact that Kite found Jing. That would mean that Kite is better than Jing as well. So that's why I'm saying maybe he let Kite find him because he needed someone to be there when Gon did use that card. Maybe they like made an arrangement or something. Yeah, I mean, potentially. I preferred, again, the 1999 version of the, the setup of the story with Gon and mm. Kite. Well, that version... Only got up to, did you say it only got up to episode 70 something and then it... 62. But 62. I, I, I'm just saying, like, comparing the the two of them, episode one of 1999, in my opinion, was a lot better than this version. Yeah, I really liked Kite's role in episode one. Yeah. Not to say I don't like Kite here. Um, Kite is fine. Oh. Um, oh, you actually liked him, uh, his character better in episode one. Yeah, no, I think so. I'm just saying the setup between the two characters... Like, Gon was confused when he saw mm. Kite here. Yeah. I, I would have thought that Gon's the sort of person who maybe doesn't forget about people that have helped him or shown him good. Um, yeah, true. It was only a couple of years ago. I would have thought, yeah. I don't know, but we got, a, we got a longer story. It seemed more brief in this version of the events. Yeah. They still kept that same 
thing how like a sign of a good hunter or potentially a good hunter is that the animals like him. Yeah, I reckon it might be like also what type of animals because I said during the 1999 version one that I can't imagine a flock of animals, you know, going towards his soccer, but <laughs> yeah. I can see yeah, it's, some it's, snakes. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Like the cold-blooded animals. That's interesting. Lizards, <laughs> maybe a turtle. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm not entirely sure what sort of animals that his soccer is attracting, but yeah. um, there might be some. Maybe only, like, the good hunters. I don't know. Yeah, so just going back to what you said about his soccer, there was a line in this episode where Jing said that good hunters are well-liked by animals. Good hunters. Good hunters. Emphasis on good. His soccer is a hunter. Yeah. <laughs> a skilled hunter, but not a good hunter. Okay. <laughs> so you could be right there. So then we see the revelation that Jing programmed the game or got Elena to program the game in such a way where if Gon used the company, he'd get sent to Kite not Jing. Yeah. Um, if he used another one, he ma- would have... Magnetic force, because then he would have been alone. And he didn't... Jing obviously doesn't want a crowd there. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, Because he's probably embarrassed about the way he's treated his son. <sighs> so is Kite's role for Gon mastering Zetsu? Where Razor was maybe um getting Gon to become more powerful, oh. and Bisky as well, is Kite just... Some of the other Nen techniques or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. Because he would have had to conceal his Nen really well. To find Jing. Yeah. I don't know. I found it hard to break down that scene, that like what they were talking about. And then they yeah. didn't give us an answer while they're trying to figure out what role Kite is playing in this whole thing, which is interesting how this whole thing, this whole story that we're witnessing is all orchestrated by Jing. Mm. And then Gon goes on to say, you know, like, don't tell me. I, I want to figure out for myself. Which I'm not surprised by. I would have been really upset with that, like, earlier on in the season if this happened. I would have been real pissed off. But Mm. it's just expected from him at this point. Because he gains nothing by getting answers from someone like that. Answers. Oh. Speaking of the ant, what's their deal? What do you think? Any theories on the surface? They have to eat a lot of fish to become strong? So, there might be some prophecy, some ant prophecy. (laughs) With the king. Because the queen wants to, to birth him. Can the queen do that by herself? Like, are they, what are they called? Asexual ants. Yes. She's going to do it herself because she's a queen. I'm not sure, Carly. I don't know. Yeah, the king. I don't know. I'm wondering why she won't leave the cave. Oh, because she's injured. Who injured her? Maybe Kite. I don't know. I found the end scene quite interesting because you had the, um, you had the ant queen kind of spreading her ant legs to... Um, I don't know, prepared to give birth, but she's <laughs> eating fish. So I would have thought that she's preparing to take a shit. Like, I don't, like, how is eating the fish going to help bring out the king? Oh, it's just an interesting scene to break down. She said <laughs> that she needs to heal herself. So she's obviously been weakened by something and the fish is restoring her strength. So she's going to shit out the king. <laughs> you know how childbirth works? <laughs> no. This is not childbirth. This is ant birth this of the is king. King birth. <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. No, I'm just kidding around. But she's probably gonna go out to try and consume the the boys because the fish aren't enough. So she's gonna, I don't know, but oh, no. she's gonna try and consume some people. I'd imagine. Ew. You know how Cell had to gather the energy. Yeah. By feasting on the humans. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna imagine, yeah. Your vibes were correct, and that's probably what we're going to see here. Yeah, probably salivating. Sal- yeah, that's good, Carly. That's good. I was thought of some nice humans. I was going to say, are they, you know the small ants, are they yeah. linked to the queen? Well, the queen births all of the colonies, right? Is that how it works, <laughs> biology people? <laughs> no, well, I was just going to say, because maybe you know how the ant bit Killua? Yeah. Do you think they got transferred to her? No. No, okay. No, definitely not. But, yeah, she's the queen of the hive nest. Yeah, yeah, okay. This is going to be fun. Yeah. I- I'm liking the vibes. I'm liking the vibes. I have heard this is a long arc, so I'm sure they're going to do a lot of cool sort of things here. Mm. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And, yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.